Hello friends. Today we gonna see ELF solve function in MathCAD. Uh, in the previous tutorial we see the given and find function. So basically given and find function works for a linear set of equations and you have to find the variables, value of variables. So in there you have to put the guess values and then given then equations and then find actually. So uh, if you want to skip all that mess like uh, guess values in given you go just go through a uh, else solve function in MathCAD. now consider if you have a number of equations like here in this case we have four equations four variables so you want to see a method which can easily add up all equations more equations and solve accordingly if you change this one equation then you can see the results so actual function have a similar kind of work here it has two parts one is matrix and one, another one is vector matrix basically defines the coefficients of the uh, variables like x y w and z you just have to put the coefficients in the matrix form and all the constraints like 5 0 1 and 10 whatever it is in the vector form now in this case we have a matrix form like this and you can see here four equations and four variables so you want to insert a four into four matrix so four four and you get your matrix now just type the variable x first then y and then w0 and z1 you can uh, press tab key to switch between the uh, values uh, placeholders actually so in second case Okay, now again vector form. So this is the matrix form. Now you have to put the vector form. Again, you can see a matrix of 4 into 1 actually, one column. So 5, 0 0.9, 10, 3.2. So now just simple, you have to type the health solve function to see the results, put parasynthesis m comma v close the bracket and that's it you're gonna type solution again and then push the equal to sign here are all your answers starting from x and ending to j so uh, where we can uh, use the else function the basic need of this function uh, in the case you have a linear set of equation so you are most welcome to use the else function now in some electrical networks where you have to find the current potential resistances everything you have complicated loop and you have a circuits loops so you just make equations of the variables um, denoting current potential reference and all resistance all that stuff and you can solve uh, using this function in another, in other words, we can say that in the pipe networks, mechanical engineering basically, and they can understand the piping networks have a different types of equations, some constants also. So you can set up a simple program that can solve uh, this this type of equations easily. So this is the basic need of the L-solve function. So hope all you like it. Thanks for watching.